you know, I think it's one of those things as you get older, you feel that, uh, that you're closer to the, to the wrong end of your life and so uh, you want to you wanna, um, just do something that, that makes you feel a little better and, uh, and you know, contributing to this park is, uh, is an easy thing to do, it doesn't take much effort. Hi, my name is Eli Huerta Ortiz. I am the Community Programs Manager for the Presidio Nursery, and I've been here for five years. So my name is Laura Barcos. I work at Fort Point National Historic Site, part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. We have volunteers here that come to the fort, um, and it's great. They help us in everything we do. They help us open the fort, close the fort, doing programs, maintenance. So they're a very big part of our working dynamic here. My name is Nancy Rios. I have been a volunteer on Alcatraz Island for the past uh, five years now. And uh, I came uh, to uh, volunteer with Alcatraz because of my first time in Alcatraz when I was eight years old. I came here for the first time. Every single aspect of the island, the nature, the stories, um, and everything fascinated me. Many years after, I moved into the city and I decided that it was the best way to serve uh, the community and especially the most fascinating place to me. I became a historical interpreter with the National Park Service. Everything has been history since. The volunteers located here at the Golden Gate National Recreation Area and some of the areas that I oversee they can do a variety of different things. For some of them, they can be docents, where they can actually provide some general orientation information and also actually give some interpretive programs to the general public. For others, they can be involved in habitat restoration, building restoration, a variety of different capacities along those lines. So what we do in the nursery, we grow plants for restoration projects and the way that we get that done is through volunteers. So we have people of all ages, young kids through older people that are retired and they want to give back to the community and that's how we get it done. They help us to do everything from collecting our little tiny seeds to cleaning them, to transplanting them. They help me out in the garden, planting and weeding uh, building trails, anything that needs to get done, our volunteers come to our rescue. The staff or whoever go out and get little bits of all the plants that they want to appropriate and then they give the seeds to us. The pots are coming back and being washed and they're being planted again. We have dirty pots that we washed with these scrubber things and we just clean them out of like bad bacteria. She's our littlest volunteer. <laughs> She's very cheerful, always eager to learn something new. I am very amazed at just everything she does. She does it with such cheer and She's so smart. I, I just feel so inspired when I see her. I feel there's so much hope for the future if everyone could be just like her. My favorite thing about volunteering is that like, it makes me feel good because I know that it's helping nature and I really like nature. And also, I looked online about global warming and they say like it's because of carbon dioxide and all the fuel that people use while like driving. It's a good experience for her to to come here and learn more about nature and and have a lot of good role models. It's just a really nice environment to work in and all the volunteers are great. Um, they all have such interesting backgrounds so it's, it's really nice to kind of meet other people in the community who have similar interests. Yeah, so here at the fort we have a few volunteers and it's diverse. We have everyone from college, interns, to retired people who are, you know, they have time on their hands. 
So we have a student intern who comes and helps us with programs, a grad student as well. People get on well together, they pitch in, they will take different tasks and just work beside each other and, and I think it's, uh, it's kind of therapeutic for everyone to, to meet people here. You do um, see a lot of people, it keeps you, uh, for people who might have retired or be not doing something, it's, it's a nice interaction. Just their uniqueness just make our community so amazing. It's like this wonderful, colorful mosaic of people. We have one woman who has the mother of six children and she lives in Maine, but she comes to San Francisco during this time of year to work here. I never thought I would work in the National Park Service. I had never, it had never crossed my mind. I didn't you know, grow up going to parks or anything like that. But once I found it, uh, I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to stick with this. I was caught by surprise at how much I love our volunteer programs. I didn't expect to find a family in our programs. The people I work with, they're really nice to me, and they keep on wanting me to come back, so it's really fun to work here. It becomes kind of a centered little hub for all kinds of things. And they provide parties and snack time. Uh, you know, we all have our, but it's really what goes on here and that we just are a group doing it, just like any volunteer group. I am from Mexico and I'm far away from my family. And being here, I feel everyone has adopted me, <laughs> including the little one. So it's, it's given me such an amazing appreciation to our community and just having that feeling of family in here. For the people, which is what all of the Presidio is now. And it's fantastic, including Alcatraz. I've been out there on a tour boat with some of the members here. I had no idea that there were gardens on Alcatraz. Besides the wonderful stories, there are beautiful, beautiful gardens. And I never bothered to look. One of the things that I love about volunteering is because you meet a lot of different people from different backgrounds who come and enjoy the, what the park has to offer. At the same time, enjoy the beauty and the nature of the island, as well as they get acquainted with the historical part of being uh, in Alcatraz, an Alcatraz visitor. There's a great talk later tonight about an escape attempt. I feel really good when I'm able to make someone's day by showing them something that they cannot normally see by themselves. Like if I go behind the scenes, show them something that is super fascinating and they're like super excited about it and that just makes me really happy. We are very committed. Most of us are very much committed to the cause that we're taking. In this case, being a historical interpreter and a volunteer with the National Park Rangers in the island. And that's one of the most rewarding things is um, knowing that I am a volunteer and I do represent the Park Service every day that I come out here. I always wear a clean uniform, always are in a, in a great mood and uh, always happy to be here. And that's, uh, that's very rewarding. I think it's pretty neat to see kind of like our finished products. That's pretty satisfying to kind of see the results. So like, it's really neat to like, for me to like drive back home along the Presidio Bluffs, for example, and see all these, like the, all these bluffs just covered in plants that I've helped out with, that other volunteers have helped planting. And that's really encouraging to, to see it, to see your work. It's kind of a cliche, but giving back, it's just, it feels so good to come here and be, be a part of this cycle of the growing the plants and putting them back into their uh, little homes. I feel so lucky that we get to meet lots of people from different areas. Um, one of our main goals is to bring people from different corners of San Francisco who have never been here to the park and just bring them to their backyard and connect them to nature, especially young kids, and really having them feel that they belong to this place and this place also belongs to them. Uh, just come out, take a look, and if you like it, ask about it. And if you, uh, from there on, you can get into a, a very rewarding position 
and uh, I guarantee you will love it for sure and uh, won't regret it. I feel so honored to work with them and to get to learn from them. I feel they give us so much and they take so little in return. I hope that by coming here, they get to form new friendships and get to meet new people and get to feel a part of this community and, and feel good about helping our beautiful environment. <laughs> if I had a message for the volunteers, it would be a big thank you. Um, we definitely could not do what we do here at the park without them. They are part of the team. Definitely thank you for coming out and volunteering your time with us.